This is the hanging leg raise for the abs, specifically the lower abs. These along with any weighted crunch is going to be pretty much all you need to develop deep separated abs. In this guide, I'll start with the easier variation, going up with the knees bent like this, all the way up to doing them weighted, just do the one where you're able to knock out at least 8 to 10 reps. Starting with the easiest variation, going up with the knees bent, suspend yourself using the elbows and the backrest and think like you were driving those elbows down into those elbow pads to keep these shoulders from shrugging and having a lot of tension in the neck and shoulders. Start with the legs underneath the hips, contract the core and lead the way up with the knees and the hips. And what you want to do with the hips, and this applies to all the other variants, is as you go up, you want to drive those hips forward as you raise the legs, flexing the spine, which is the purpose of those rectus abdominis muscles. If you just bring the legs up without pushing those hips forward and up, you would just mostly be using those hip flexors. Reach the knees as high as you can, and like you are bringing them towards the chest. Do your best to squeeze the abs at the top and get a tiny pause here. As you go down, think like you were squeezing the abs again, and always slow on that way down with control. Bring the feet underneath the hips, don't let those feet swing back behind the hips, and use momentum to go back up again. You can also do these hanging from some pull-up handles, although it will be more difficult due to the need for more core stability and grip strength. Going one difficulty level higher, do these with the legs more extended, but still having a slight bend at the knee. Squeeze the core, lead the way up with the knees and the hips, bring in those legs to the height of the hips and try to get a pause at the top if you can. Contract the core again as you go down and always with the control on that eccentric, don't let those legs swing back. And when you can't do any more reps with the legs extended, you can finish off your set doing the version with the knees bent just like this. And now going one more level higher, you can raise the feet all the way up above the head like this, still trying to get a pause at the top and always controlling that way down. You can also do these on some pull-up bars like this, but again, you will need more upper body strength and good body control. Once you're able to do 10 to 15 reps all the way up, then you can do these weighted holding a dumbbell between the feet like this, or you can also use some ankle weights instead. And a technique you can do this variation is go to failure with the weight and then drop the weight and get more reps unweighted just like this. Thanks for watching, like this video right now, and subscribe for more tutorial videos just like this one. See ya!